Hi, this is Magnar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, remove units both from custom battle and from campaign. So first up, we'll do the quick and easy one, which is to remove it from custom ba battle. And the way we do that is we're going to add the unit custom battle permissions table. So we right click on the table we want to add from pack and we'll just go to data room 2 and there it is now we want to grab this table unit custom battle permissions There it is, so open it up and double click on the actual table because we've already got the folder selected. So we need the table, so double click and OK. And we can save that. Now, to remove entries from a table, we have to keep the table the same name as in vanilla. As you can see with our other mod files in the Magna unit base pack, uh, all the tables here were named with a custom name. Uh, which is called fragmenting them, uh, which so they don't overwrite, uh, so they don't um, they can be used with other mods who also edit those tables. But when we're going to remove an entry, uh, we have to use the vanilla table, so that this table will actually overwrite whatever is in the vanilla version of the same table. So let's remove a Roman unit just because of all our tutorial units have also been with Rome and the way we're going to do that let's just filter out all the Roman units first so we'll click on the faction for custom battle go to Rome and here they all are so we'll get rid of uh, what's an easy one Roari do they have them No, not in custom battle. Let's just get rid of a uh, auxilia unit. Auxilia infantry we can get rid of. So just click on the the number to select the whole row. Press your delete key, and then it's gone. And you can save that. And now that unit won't be available for the Roman faction to recruit in custom battle. Pretty quick and easy. To remove a unit for the campaign requires a little bit more thought. You might think that you just go into the main units or, or land units and delete the unit itself um, from the pack uh, when you copy the file over that is. Uh, but doing that might cause issues, especially if that unit is referred to in the start pos or somewhere else. Um, so to avoid that, we don't actually delete the unit we only remove the access to recruit the unit or to recruit it for a specific faction um, and we can do that in a number of ways so we can go here into unit to groupings military permissions table and we can add do the same thing as we did with custom battle permissions And what we're going to do in there is we're just going to take off the access. Uh, we're going to we're going to take the link away between the unit and the faction, uh, which allows it to recruit that unit. So we go down to unit groupings military permissions and double click again. Okay, save it. Again, we keep it because we're removing an entry. We're going to keep the table, the file name here, the same as the vanilla file. So we're not going to change the name. Now let's find the uh, Roman faction and we'll delete just the same unit, why not? The uh, auxilia infantry. So I'll select it wherever it is. There it is, and push the delete button. Gone. 
and done. Now they shouldn't have access. Um, the, the military grouping of Roman, which is might not just be Rome, it might be um, other factions as well, will not have access to, to recruit that unit. What we can also do, if we don't want to actually uh, let Rome if we want to actually change which buildings recruit it um, and make it, say, for example, from a later uh, building rather than what it was actually at, we can also do it through building units allowed. Uh, so we can go into here and we can actually do this way instead of um, through the grouping military permissions. We can actually just remove all access to be able to recruit the unit in campaign and it'll do exactly the same thing. I actually I think I do both in my mod, just to be on the safe side. So we'll grab data round two. Building units allowed. Again, we're going to keep the file name exactly as is. And this time we can just search by unit because we know which unit we're going to edit. Uh, Rome. Well, actually, I can even just do it to prove a point. I'll go Rome Hastati normally recruitable with, you can see here, main military from the first level and also in, in the prologue it's available from the actual city slot because that's what that building is, pro, meaning prologue and the major city or capital city. In the Punic uh, campaign uh, it's available in um, also in the auxiliary and the main line, but we're just going to do the main campaign. So let's remove its recruitment from the first level. Uh, yeah, and then we should build, be able to build that in the campaign and we'll notice that we can't actually recruit his study anymore. Okay, save that. Copy it over to data. And they're good to go. Okay, here we can see the custom battle screen and there is no auxiliary infantry available for recruitment. So there's that one working. And then we'll go into... And here we are in the campaign and you can see the level 1 uh, military building and you look in the bottom left hand corner and you can see that it no longer uh, unlocks the recruitment of Hastati although it will in vanilla and if we hover over here the level 2 military building you can see that it now unlocks the Hastari unit oh and the auxiliary cab also now you don't have to edit any of the text it's all done automatically which units are unlocked and displayed on the left however there is a limit to the number of um, unlocked units that will display on the left, although there, is, but there's no limit to the number of units that can be unlocked with the building. So that's just a UI um, restriction. That uh, if, if you care about that, then yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the maximum number of units that can be displayed is. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's all. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.